tough decision, but uh, this is the only way uh, people can They are responsible for the country, they are responsible for the people, and uh, it is their duty to take that bold decision. Very difficult, and I hope uh, we will continue supporting them. Again, I want to thank him also again, the president, and uh, by the first by president designated, the president also for their agreement to form the, uh, the unity government time. And, and also, it's very, very important. It will help our people to, uh, to have peace. And, and, and I want to, uh, to tell them that uh, we will stand behind them. Take uh, further step to air out some of the outstanding issues, so that we don't have any sticky issues again that can uh, take us back. Uh, it's very good, and we hope that we this peace will continue uh, after the end. Today we call this uh, fresh uh, to announce the result of the head count. When I was appointed in 2018 as the Minister of Labor, Public Service and Human Resource Development uh, in 2018, in August, I came and I acquainted myself with the situation in the ministry here by uh, having briefing uh, from the staff of the ministry. What I got in those briefings were that we have a problem in our system as civil service. Very big problems. We were not knowing the number of the officials who are working in the government, who is present and who is not present. And, and then I uh, agree with my team here for us to start work is for us to make head count. Let us know who are really working for the government. We initiated that one and we constituted <coughs> 10 committees uh, to work on 17 institutions of the government, the central government. And we brought 13 members from the University of Cuba professors and from that time last year in May we started the process. Uh, we have gone through the files of the individuals in the ministry and also physically calling them. We have gone through their documents. We have gone through everything that we think that will give us uh, the, the actual number of our people. And today, we have finished, and we call it phase one of planning, and now we are going to phase two of implementation. We know we are going to, to go into a state, and it is good that the the president formed a high-level committee to work on the state that making our work even easy. So we are going also to work on uh, on the civil servant in the state. Uh, so we are going to go there. Uh, and the result we are presenting uh, is the result of the 70 institutions that uh, we have worked on them. But this one excludes uh, personnel, what we call pay from within. Personnel pay from within in the Ministry of Finance. They are not uh, included in this report because we are still working on them. We want to know uh, their status more. And then we have mobile teachers uh, from the Ministry of General Education and the contracted doctors in the Ministry of Health. And then we have also legal counselors 
the Minister of Justice, and we have personnel from the judiciary. We are still working on them. Uh, this is a long process. So the, this report doesn't include those uh, categories. What we found when we started uh, the, the process, we went through the plan, the nominal role in the government. In the planning we got, we have 17,061 supposed to be employed the government. But when we went to share the file, we found only uh, 14,286. Uh, 14,277. These are people we found working in the government. But these 14,000, also we categorize them into the following. Those who confirm present through their files, they were 11,286. Out of this, 10,897 were in the payroll. They had their money with us here. And 106 were not in the payroll. And we have 283 paper with the, in the ministries. This means that the 106 who are not in the payroll, they don't have money, <coughs> but are occupying positions. So these are position buckets. People are not there and they are not receiving uh, salaries. Pay from within, these are people, the institution are paying in their ministries or institutions. And we don't know where they get the money to pay those things. Taking from which, uh, which, uh, which budget, you don't know. But we are working on them and we say we, are, we saw the institution that we are going to, uh, to stop those people. The second uh, category is uh, confirm disappear. Out of 14,277, we got we have 1,891 1, disappear. We don't know where they are. Yes, their files are there, but the people were not there. Out of it, we have 1,504 in our payroll here. We pay the money and they are not there. It means that somebody is taking their money. There is nowhere to be found, but their money is flowing to institutions. It means that somebody is taking money of 1,504. And we have about 375 not in the payroll, they don't have money, but they are occupying, these are positions. We are supposed to appoint people in those positions, 375. And then we have four pay from within the institutions who are paying. Uh, the category number three is that is not confirmed. We have people who are not completely confirmed, there are 442. On the payroll, it is 441. And then we have one who is not in the payroll here. Yes, that is also a position. That is image backend. We are supposed to appoint somebody here. But these 441, they are in our payroll here. They are not confirmed <coughs> here in the, uh, in the, in the pub, uh, public service. That means that these are people who are appointed by the institution. Right? We do not confirm them. Uh, the other categories is confirmed death. Those who have died, there are 208. Out of 208, we have 181 on the payroll. 
and you have 25 who are not in the payroll. 181, we don't know who is receiving their money, whether they are relatives or what. This is what uh, we don't know. And, uh, and then we have 25 that are not in the payroll, but also these are the position. Uh, we have not filled. And then we have terminated. Those who are terminated in different institutions, there are 116. Out of it, 18, they are on the payroll, and 95 are not on the payroll. And then you have one pay from within. This is a decision, of, of course, of the, of the institutions. Well, they, uh, they are paying only 18 and 95, they don't pay them money. But these are the positions also, because they are terminated and they are not working. These are empty also uh, uh, positions. And then we have still on the leave without pay. These are long leave. We don't know where are they. They have been actually away for quite a long time without pay. There are 108, but out of 108, you have 62 on the payroll. And here, it is written here, leave without pay. But 62 that are in the payroll, it means that somebody also is taking their money. It is not they who are taking the money, but uh, somebody is taking care of that money. And then they have 11 who are not in the payroll, but these are also positions that are supposed to be filled. And then we have name without name without pay. You have you get their names there and but they are, they, are, they are not paid. The other other categories is still on the study leave with pay. We have people about sixty three on the study leave, we say that 63. You have 60 of them on the payroll, their salary is going, and then you have about three not on the payroll. These are empty also positions that are supposed to be filled. And then you have this, uh, sick leave. We have 45. 45, we have 44 on the payroll. And then you have one which is not on the payroll. That is also a position that's supposed to be filled because they don't have, it's not there, no money. And then the position that's supposed to be uh, filled by someone. And then we have people on su suspension, about 45. We have 27 of them are on the payroll, and two of them are not on the payroll. Uh, 27 of course, the institution giving them money pending until the cases are resolved. And then we have transfer. People are transferred from uh, institutions. For example, we may uh, transfer somebody from here to another institution. Uh, out of that 30, we have 11 who are on the payroll, and then 18 that are not on the payroll. This also, these people disappear somewhere. They, we, they know where they are not there. So it is a uh, vacancy that's supposed to be filled by, uh, by somebody. And then you have study leave without pay. We have 25, and then 20 of them are on the payroll. It means that we are paying. We are paying them. Somebody is taking money. I don't know whether they agree with uh, somebody in that uh, institution that uh, you receive my money, whether they are getting themselves or somebody is taking money. So because they are giving leave without pay, they are not supposed to receive any payment, but their salary is still going, 20 of them. And then two of them 
uh, they are not uh, uh, they are not in the payroll. And then we have seconded people seconded into other institution. There are ten, nine of them that are in, on the payroll, and one is not. But the question of this second man, they are receiving salary twice. They are receiving the payroll here, and then they also uh, they they get pay where they are they are, they are, they are second. Day. We have people who have resigned, eight. One is on the payroll, somebody is taking the money, and then seven are not. It means that we have also seven, uh, seven uh, vacancies. So when you add all this total 14,277, and then on the payroll that's 13,275, not on the payroll, they are promoted and they get salaries of very two. It means that they are receiving twice. They are getting their money here at grade 5, and in their institutions, they are receiving money also as grade Suppose that we are supposed to fulfill, and it is, a, it is good with our younger graduates that majority of them we are going to take. Uh, by this, in 2018, when we decided to make headcount, specifically in, in October 19, uh, to, to, uh, 2018, we, uh, we banned the recruitment and promotions. Uh, so that it gave us a chance to know those who are due for promotions and the vacancy that will be filled to start working, we have already alerted them, uh, working on those who are due for promotions, and then identification also of the vacancies. Of course, we may have different grade in that, those institutions. So by this, we are uh, informing them that we can now recruit. And they have to prepare, and what they will do, they identify those positions for promotion. We have a committee under the Minister of uh, Public Service, that will see uh, into uh, senior grades for promotions and then uh, for identifications of the positions that need to be filled. The institution have to send it uh, to public service for verification. When they are verified and then they are sent back to them and also they will go and send it to an ad hoc committee that we have also formed as the minister here. Uh, uh, according to the instruction of the Council of Ministers, there is resolution uh, 121, uh, date 18, November 2019, giving me uh, authority to, to appoint an ad hoc committee for recruitment. <coughs> so we have already appointed uh, that committee, and then institution, after verification of this position by the public service, they will go and send uh, the position they need to this an ad hoc committee who, on the time on their time they will go and uh, advertise they will at least they will conduct interview whether through examination or uh, oral interviews and when they finish from uh, all this and then they will send it to public service for confirmation and then the name of those people are sent back into their institution uh, I think this is a uh, this is a process that we, will, uh, we are doing, and we are continuing with implementation of this headcount. Uh, we may discover some of the issues that may arise uh, on the process, and uh, I want to thank uh, my team, the team who have really conducted uh, this headcount. It was a very tedious and uh, demanding task. Severe, and we are really very happy with the result. And that result will help the Republic of South Sudan uh, to fight corruption, to make sure that transparency and accountability are maintained, the rule of law is, 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 is observed, and, uh, which is really very important. And I thank also 
people from the University of Juba, because they, they have helped us. And this is their work really. And uh, we say, in the city, go and bring people from our side. We have uh, qualified people, our professors, and they have really contributed. Uh, contributed uh, very much in this uh, this process. And again, I don't want to forget my team from the ministry under my duty, minister and, and the secretaries, DGs and directors and all the staff of the ministry uh, that uh, uh, I want to thank them for also helping me to achieve this uh, this result, and uh, of course, this is not the end, it's the beginning of the, the real process. Lastly, I want to advise that we don't politicize the civil service. These are the heart of the, any system in this world, and that's why they are really uh, protected for the politics. Uh, non-partisan, they work with any institution. So I want our leadership to observe that they should not politicize the civil side. Let them lead them and let us maintain the merit of the civil side. We need to get the best one and we need to train them. But sometimes when we dilute them with uh, those who are not qualified, and then we have a problem. The system will not work. Even under secretaries are the civil servant, the most senior servant in any institution. Uh, these are career paths, are not politicians. And, and, and they have also their hierarchy. So people will have to work through their hierarchy so that we maintain a discipline in the, in the civil servant. Otherwise, when we uh, appoint them like constitution or those holders, then we will not uh, we will not maintain and we will not observe the discipline uh, within the civil service. So I thank you all.